you see, I happen to think we expect teachers to do absolutely everything Far nowadays. Far too much, actually. Well, there's this move that um, teachers are going to be made to undertake work experience so they can more meaningfully give their pupils career advice. Over next year, more than 1,000 teachers will be stepping outside the classroom and into the boardroom as part of a government-funded scheme. Yeah, uh, when are they meant to get the time to do it? The programme includes work with more than 200 companies like Rolls-Royce, the film special effects company Frame Store, Pinewood Studios and Siemens. Yes, so today we're debating, should teachers do work experience like that? We're joined by the chairman of Campaign for Real Education, Chris McGovern, and journalist Julie Cook. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, so, all right, let's go to um, you first, please, uh, Chris. Am I right? Don't teachers do enough without having to take this on as well? I taught for 35 years, so anyone should know, I should know, and I taught in all sorts of schools. But before I became a teacher, I, I worked for a big international company. And of course, I did other jobs as well, from, from working on cancer wars to the factory floor. It's great to have teachers who have some sort of work experience. The problem we have today is that young people go into teacher training, then they go back into school. They have no experience outside the world of education. So they encourage young people to do the same. They go to school, they go to university. And often they'd be far better doing vocational training rather than going to university. So it's wonderful to have the idea that teachers should get some work experience outside of the classroom. It can only enhance their, their teaching. And I think they should be rewarded for doing it. I think they should be given a bonus if they've got that sort of work experience. So our campaign wholeheartedly supports the idea of teachers getting work experience outside the classroom. And I say as someone who a was a dedicated teacher, and I know how hard teachers work. Oh, well, there you go, Julie. Someone who's been there, done that, says this is a good idea. Yeah, and it does sound like a good idea, doesn't it? On paper, it really does. And I, I understand um, our other guest points. But the trouble is today, teachers are expected to do so much. We've read about it recently, haven't we? From from potty training other people's children right up to, to this now. Um, and I just think that they are being given too much on their plate. They can barely have time to mark in the evenings. I've got a couple of friends who are teachers. I'm not a teacher myself, obviously, but a couple of friends who I ran this idea past them yesterday and they, they just rolled their eyes and said, we don't have time to do the, the already the workload we have without having to be placed in a work placement. Um, and also what happens during when they're in this work placement is, what will have uh, supply teachers in place, which is great. But again, they don't know the students as well as the teacher does. They're not au fait with perhaps what those children are doing in the class or the coursework they're doing. So again, I think it might actually have a detrimental effect on some children with that teacher who knows them well being taken out of the school environment. Mm. Yeah, Chris, what about then um, the idea of dedicated career teachers or career specialists rather than expecting... Are teachers who should be, I don't know, maths, English and French, um, being allowed to get on with their job and having specialist teachers come into the school, people who really know the work world. What about that? Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, I mean, you have that. I mean, we used to have that. So when I was at school, we had a careers teacher. Just to pick up the point we just made about teachers having too much to do, though, for many teachers, it would be quite a relief to get out of the classroom, to go and work in another environment. And it's really a question of how you manage that time. Of course, you've got to manage it so that children benefit as well. But bringing in, look, a lot of people have seen the film Kez, um, a famous film from many years ago, where the, chap, where the little lad goes for, for an interview with a careers teacher, you know, and, and, and there's no future in that, there wasn't. I think it helps, of course, having a careers teacher helps, but having teachers who know the world of work inevitably is going to help. And I wouldn't want to force teachers to do it. But, uh, but unlike our other guests, I, I don't find teachers rolling their eyes. They say, oh, yes, that would be great. Let's have, a, let's have a few days out of the classroom. It gives us a break, energises us. But, you know, actually, although we work very hard as teachers, I actually found teaching is an energising profession. Believe it or not, children can energise good teachers. It's not all about slogging and the galley slaves. It's a wonderful job. Um, but, well, perhaps, Julie, there is a point there, and, and teachers having a broader experience, I mean, I've I, 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 got to be honest, I struggle with it personally, but perhaps the idea of teachers having a broader experience uh, of a boardroom or whatever it may be could actually help students. 
I, I think it, I think any life experience a teacher has can 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 help students. Of course, whether it be work or travel or other cultures or whatever, it makes you a, a more rounded um, individual and can bring more to the table, as it were. Um, but I I agree with what Anne just said as well, which is um, teaching. In my mind, I thought was a kind of a career p- p- profession, as as Anne said, where you you begin as a teacher and you, your aim is to continue being a teacher, and that is your job. Um, you know, yes, people need vocational experience, but children have work experience, don't they? They can do, I think, in year 10. Um, and careers advisors, if they still exist, or it would be great if they did in every school. Um, but I think, yes, of course, some might find it exciting to get out of the classroom and, and experience something different. But I, I don't think that really necessarily benefits the children if it's just the teachers saying, or oh, at least I'll get out of the classroom. Mm, yeah. Well, we'll throw it out to our lovely viewers. Chris and Julie, thanks very much indeed for joining us. And yes, if you've got a view, maybe you are a teacher uh, at the moment too. Um, if you've got a view, what sort of careers advice did you have when you left school as well? Mm. I was just told um, it's a university if you want to do something, you know, like be a doctor or teacher's training college. That's all we were told. Oh, really? Yeah, absolutely. Really? Nobody, My- nobody even dreamt of the idea of going into newspapers, which is what I did in the end. Nobody had any experience of that at all to pass on. No, we had uh, we had a careers advisor and you had to fill in like, um, you know, like on the Richmond test, you had to you know, mm. fill in the boxes and it all... Then they came back a week later. Oh, with you're your, a team player. With, with yes. your results. Yeah. And, and you mine told- said... As did everybody else's, really. That I should, I could get a job in a rubber factory. Oh, what? what why? Don't why, know. Why There's a rubber factory? A, I have no idea. I don't really quite. Was there know a what nearby a rubber, factory rubber factory? No. Oh. There was no rubber factory anywhere Crazy. nearby. So it said we should. I mean, if it said build ships because you've got Vickers VSCL nearby, then I could have understood yes. it. But get a job in a rubber factory. Oh, that's really weird. I you didn't, that. though, did you? Obviously. No, I did not. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, there uh, you are. There you but go. if you've got a view on that, get in touch, won't you? GBviews at gbnews.com. If you do work in a rubber factory, please go and let me know what I'm missing. Yeah. Do you have, you know, does he have the, uh, the whatever, what it takes to be a rubber factory worker? I mean, the thing is, you back in those days... You could have had a days, mega career. You could be a giant in the world of rubber, rubber manufacturing. Things. Yeah. Back then, we just, because it was rubbers, you know, erasers. Yeah. So I thought, We're just we, on the end of a pencil. I was like, why do I build erasers? I'm sure it's something, into, maybe it's making tyres. I have no idea. So if you do work in one, let me know.